Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR 21. And in this episode of our season, as Daryl Bubba Wallace Jr. and his number 23 DoorDash Yoder are going to Phoenix Raceway for the season finale 500. I am not in the final four. Because they screwed us stupidly at Martinsville. All I had to do was win the race. And I was the fastest guy on the track because the leaders couldn't get around lap traffic. Eventually, I passed every car on the track. But they kept on throwing all these freaking cautions left and right. So I got forced to lap down and there was there was no getting back from there. We got a sixth place finish at Martinsville. It was our, our best run of uh, the round of eight. But now your final four is Larson, Hamlin, Logano, and William Byron. Hopefully William Byron wins this race and, and wins the, the actual playoff championship thing because that's what happened in this stuff whenever it was actually legitimate for the regular season. Here's the, the, the settings. 90 degrees because we're in the desert. The clear, sunny skies. We're going to have the stages on and all that stuff. Cautions. Trap me a lap down. Screw me, game. Screw me. I don't care. Do the pace car thing again. I just tried to record this video a while ago and they did that. Then the game was just being annoying. I was like, fuck this shit. I'll just restart the whole freaking video. Uh, yeah, we're on extreme difficulty. I did the, the first Phoenix race on champion difficulty and it was like ridiculously easy because they are very slow whenever their tires get worn. And they also don't pit. Uh, at least I don't think they, they pit here. So that can be really helpful. And I'm definitely going to pit in both stages when they end. Okay, here's your starting lineup for the final four. And all the stuff for show. William Byron Logano are the, the furthest starting from the actual leaders up here. Uh, Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, they're, they're fourth and fifth. Christopher Bell and Kyle Bush, the front row. Where do they get this information from, man? Shut up. You're dumb. Same thing every time. Trophy looks stupid. You can't even see it because of the lighting. And then, as far as I'm concerned, the trophy's just gray. And gray. And dark gray. Let's put it to the, the really loose setup. Get that back in to kick out. And, uh, I'm pretty sure the car is still going to be tight as all crap. And a piece of junk, because it's a NASCAR car. NASCAR and their stupid junk cars that don't do anything right. They're supposed to be hard to drive and, and challenging for the drivers. You gotta manhandle them. But, yeah, I think they've kind of gone overboard the past five damn years. There's no damn downforce or anything. Why are we in the wall? Why did they paint the track? I mean, like, you can see that the, the wall is blue, and then the track is also painted blue in some places. I don't know. I'm so used to making uh, the playoff round videos at this point. That it's going to be kind of weird actually running the race and, and talking a lot more often than just like the past nine races of the season, I think. Yeah. And I also just finished doing the, the round of eight. So yeah, we're all on fresh tires right now. And I've seen from like What If Racing's videos that on extreme difficulty, um, you aren't too far off uh, the field's pace. But they are pretty damn slow on worn tires still. And uh, if I can get some fresh tires uh, at the, the stage cautions or whatever, that can help us find our way up front and uh, win this final race of the, the Let's Play. This is an exhibition race. I mean, this is like the last day of school, you know. I just want this to, to end. Um, and, you know, I, I don't care about any, any work or any shit that I got to do here. Get out of the way. Stop hitting me. Now, I want to make some moves, I want to make some, some passes, I, I get a run, and then they just sit there, try stopping me. I don't feel like my brakes work as good as theirs. I don't feel like my cars work as good as theirs. But I will stop at nothing to keep making forward progress. Look, I'm cutting the dog leg and shit, I'm abusing the puppy dog, JC. Everybody hates JC, that's why. Freaking abusing the puppy dog leg at the Phoenix. Here we going in for some more passes. 
uh, there's just not enough front grip, not enough downforce. The brakes suck. I hate these cars. And I hate this game's physics. Why does it feel like we're constantly hydroplaning? I just passed somebody and yet I didn't get a position for it. What the heck? Like it says, I'm in front of Joey Gase. Now, now I'm, I'm 35th. Stupid. Stupid game. I feel like it wasn't that bad whenever it first came out, but now the delay is just, is just awful. <laughs> I don't know how the relative is screwing up at this damn point. Um, also, whenever I was trying to record this video a while ago, and I just gave up because the game was being annoying, I realized that they give you control of the car in the back stretch. Like how in Martinsville, they kept on giving me control of the car in the corners. And road is closed. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Why? Why are you doing this? Why? Why are you putting me a lap down? Why? Why are you just throwing cautions like there's no goddamn tomorrow? You know, they just gave me control of the car in the back stretch. I don't freaking know why. Ugh. Well, the stage is almost over. This is it's so trash. So trash. So stupid game. I already know that I'm a lap down because we're so spread out at this point that the leader's already across the line. I'm pretty sure that some of the guys in the final four are a lap down too because of that. We're just going to have to keep on passing cars and we're going to find out where the, the last guy on the, the, the lead lap is whenever we, we drive to the field on our fresh tires for the next stage. The, oh God, we're going to dump that guy because the brakes don't work like I want them to. We at the end of the stage yet? I was trying, trying to find out, like, you know, if we're all on the, the same lap and everything, because when the, the leader finishes the stage, if I'm, like, on the same lap and whatever, then I guess, but I have no idea. Uh, I mean, I don't know how to word what I'm saying. I don't care about this whole freaking series anymore. Um, there's your stupid state results. They don't matter. There's no points to hand out. Um, yeah, yeah, pit. I'm just, I'm, I'm usually much better at like speaking and all that stuff, but nope, nope, fucking had it with the feet. I'm tired of trying to contemplate and explain what the hell is going on when I play this game. Because it's stupid. It's so stupid. It's so fucked up. It don't make any sense. It's so broken. So yeah, I'm back to last place again. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving the car. Why I'm driving the car here is beyond me. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to just go through the middle. None of this shit is legal, but I'm throwing black flag for it. Let's arc it down off the track. I'm already back up to where I was before the stage ended. Oh, there's the pace car. I said I wanted that pace car. There's that pace car, and we're all in the same lap, so don't worry. Okay, they're going to control the car. Okay, let's jump that restart again. And we should find out soon if we're still in the lead lap or not. Get out of the way, Kyle Blue. Let's go on and down. It says I'm 18th, but I just pass some guys. Maybe it's just bugging out at the moment. About to wreck another car because the brakes don't work and this car has no downforce. I mean, maybe I should adjust to that. I should drive based off how bad the car is. I can't. Because I'm used to driving better cars in other games. Ugh, I'm used to driving better NASCAR cars in better NASCAR games. From the olden days. Which was like 15 years ago. I think the cars even drove better in the new Technics game. And that's about the only thing that was good in the Technics games was the physics. Paint booth. Which could actually be applied to other places of the game. As opposed to this one. You can't put it anywhere. I thought they said something about making it so you could put the, the custom paint schemes online. I still haven't seen that at all. Not that I know of. So yeah, we are faster than all these guys in front of me. But I have yet to pass all of them to prove that. It's very, very slow progress. If I actually try to drive this car with the potential I feel it should have, I just go dumping people and missing corners. Because that's where I want to get on the brakes. And then I want to get back on the throttle. 
and it just slides across the pavement and it, it just pushes and uh, it's annoying. Here we go, here we go. We're, we're, we're 16th, we're, we're 14th. Yeah, we should be 14th. I mean, I'm watching the damn relative and I'm just like trying to keep track and see like, okay, so how, how many guys in the lead lap? What's up? And it, it, it doesn't know. I, the one thing it's supposed to do is know what position I am in and tell me that. And it can't. Ugh, I've never seen any other game struggle with this shit so badly. Oh, we're sending it in really hard here. But that's just how I feel the car should be able to take the corner. So far, I mean, we're still making up positions. The real concern is whenever I pass the car, not once does it even say, oh, you've got that spot. You keep on seeing me gas it up and like, okay, let's go. But the car doesn't turn. And I'm like, why? Why it doesn't turn? What the fuck? Garbage cars. I figure the, the next gen car is probably better than this. Or at least it should be with motorsport games. It should uh, turn better because it has more tire. <sighs> Just bury this game. Bury this game. Bury it. I've got a freaking bring back NASCAR wait PS3 from the dead at some point soon because I just I haven't touched it on the channel and I put it off for a very long time because that is the worst NASCAR game in my heart and it always will be I don't know how the hell I'm actually gonna play it because the car doesn't drive oh my goodness it's like I'm trying to find out where like the lead lap stops but every time I pass a freaking car it, it says I haven't made up a position and then suddenly it does out of nowhere trying to get the spot on Christopher Bell we lose so much time in one place and then gain so much more in another it's it, it's asking for so much patience and I don't I don't like this thing of gaining a bunch of time in one place losing a bunch in another my car drives so very different from theirs. They have this consistent line, consistent pace through every corner. I mean, like, I, I go hard in and lose a bunch of time in the center, then gain a bunch more off, and it's so dumb. So far, every car I've passed has been for position. I like this. I'm fifth. I'm fourth. I'm fifth. I'm sixth. Oh my god, this game is fucking retarded. That's warranted. Don't, don't you get, don't get your, your Twitter panties in a bunch. That's... This game is fucking retarded. We're, we're, I, I, I pass three cars, the game's like fifth, fourth, sixth, fifth, sixth, fourth. Ah! I'm fucking third, stupid game. Stupid game. Bozo ass, tarred game, fuck. Holy shit. Like, <laughs> I hate this. I mean, it's, it's, it's funny, but it's just annoying right now. Because I'm trying to figure something out with this, the dumb shit where the game can't keep track of, uh, of which cars are on what lap with the cautions and then the freaking relative doesn't even work I know it counts properly at the line but it always gets the the positions right whenever you finish the race but th this relative is just based off of pure location rather than what position you are on the track it's so stupid dude I feel like some tracks the compass is just it's just not accurate that the northeast, southwest, all that, it, it's, it just isn't there. So it's, it's bad enough that it's based off of location, not position. But then like, uh, who's further north? Who's further east? And, and then it just completely misses the point. Well, I mean, I just passed Kyle Larson and they said we didn't come here for a second. So I guess that one's for position. I guess we're all for position. I think I'm, I'm rather shocked that it wasn't more spread out whenever that first caution just randomly popped in. Now we have lap traffic as we're approaching the end of the second stage. So that could possibly help me catch Denny Hamlin, but I don't know if I have enough time. It's such a, a gradual process to, to get to him. We're way faster than these guys in the back of the field. I start to forget how much faster we were than them earlier. Of the struggles of passing these guys up front. Unless somehow Diddy Hamlin is being gifted this championship by being the only guy that was across the line when that caution happened. I just, 
I, I kind of doubt that. This is the best sounding NASCAR game to, to date. This NASCAR game has the most polygons to date. No NASCAR game up until this point has had as many polygons as this one. I've realized that. That's why it struggles so hard with all this visual shit that it shouldn't. I passed Denny Hamlin and I am not leading. How about now? How about now? Nope, Denny Hamlin is the only guy on the lead lap. <laughs> Aside from me, because I just got that back from him. Well, that's good. That means there will be two guys on the lead lap when we start the final stage of the race. <laughs> um, it says I'm on lap 29 of 28 in stage 2. So in any second now, it should say that Denny Hamlin's finished the stage. Oh, uh, okay. And in the top ten, they're a lap down, but they should end it for sure. Somewhere around here, okay. Well, that was a weird way for it to stop and transition to these results. Okay. So there's, there's two cars in the lead lap. And... Denny Hamlin is getting the championship that he's always wanted. <laughs> this is so fucked up. Yes. Yes. I have I'm gonna come to the restart like second place because everyone else is lapped down, but they're gonna put me behind all of them. I think that's what's gonna happen. Don't don't fix the damage. I don't have no damage. Wait, now I'm first! I'm first! I mean I got back on the lead lap. So I guess Denny Hamlin hit. Okay, then. Um. Well, yeah, they're always slow at the damn restarts. So somewhere in here has got to be Denny Hamlin. Because, because he, they're telling me where third and fourth are, but not Denny Hamlin. Very weird way that caution between the stages played out. Uh, yeah, we got we got to do some onboard, uh, crank it up shit because this this is the big ending. The celebrated death of the game. Oh my god, I hate these cars. They suck at everything. Okay, guess we're wrecking Chase Briscoe instead. I can't give it to you. I, I can't give you what you want. I, I can't give you the beautiful sounds of the game. Now Denny Hamlet is next to me because this game is freaking stupid. The cars suck. And these guys just sit in the way of the track. I mean, Denny Hamlin, I feel like he just passed me, but didn't get the position. So did I just put him a lap down too? I mean, it's, we're really putting everything that's broken with this game on display right now.
it, it, they're just unraceable. My competition is just unraceable. And also, this car does all kinds of, of weird uh, correcting itself on the, the, the medium assists. All right, whenever Ben Hamlin thought he got his lap back, he's getting held up by all the lapped cars. This is why they can't do anything. They, they, they can't compete with you. No matter how fast they are, no matter what tires they got on there, they get held up by these lap cars that are like way, way off the pace. Oh my God, NASCAR, you suck. These cars are garbage, man. Oh, it's the last lap of the race. And uh, my car, it's uh, it's kind of uh, whatever that is. <laughs> you want to see some more of that? I can do some more of that. I don't know. I just I find this very amusing. Uh. I mean, I I couldn't wreck if I wanted to. <laughs> I'm just kind of confused, like, if you turn off the assists, is there a way to actually drive like that? Because, like, I think the assists are taking a little too far. You know, it's funny, these are, like, the exact same results from Martinsville, except I'm the leader, Denny Hamlin is the guy that's, like, a lap down. This is the congratulations that we get. For winning the final race of the season, I guess. It would be more climatic if, well, we were in the final four. And next up is the 2021 Daytona 500 on February 13th, 2022. The same day as the Super Bowl. Because <laughs> that's, a, that's a great idea. I thought we just held this race at the beginning of the season. We just did. But no, we're going we're gonna to do that whole race again. Very strange. Video game logic. Um, we're first in the standings. Everyone is first in the standings. Okay. I lost my ride. I lost my ride to myself. Um, anyone else? The heck. Ryan Blaney lost his ride. He's not in the 12 car anymore. So who is in the 12 car? What the fuck? It can't be Austin Sindrick. He's still in the 33. And then... Um, James Davison lost his ride. Now, that is reasonable. I think that actually happened in reality. But I don't remember who they gave it to. I think it was a pretty good driver. I just don't remember. Well, thanks for watching this Let's Play of um, whatever this game is. I, I don't even remember. Um, I'll play it again someday when I'm old and have forgotten how bad it is. See you next time. That's that. And episode over. Rising like legends over rivals. Champions stand up for the title. That's what we came to do.